yeah god bless you uh for tuning in to this channel thank you so much for subscribing and then make sure you always share our videos now this is a quick testimony i just want to give uh, to encourage someone who is watching right now yeah that day was a monday i remember very well i drove the whole day and um, getting to the evening i was getting very very tired i should have stopped driving but from where i stayed okay um to the town i went it was about let's say uh, two hours drive that i have to do yeah so around it was around six o'clock um getting to the evening that i was heading towards home yeah so i was on a on a it was on a highway so on a highway and mostly on a highway i don't normally go on a, uh, a top speed i try to be at 30 or 40 yeah, thereabouts so uh, that was it and then was uh bending okay i i got to a junction that i needed to uh, take a cab and then and then um head towards home now i don't know whether i was daydreaming or what i i didn't know what happened i just saw a, a deeper track a tipper truck on a high speed coming closer to me and because it seems that i was there dreaming i i thought that oh the tipper truck was not really really closer because i didn't see what really really was happening to me and then uh, the tipper truck was coming in was coming and then i took a turn so those eyewitnesses gave an account that the tipper truck was on a higher speed and then I still decided to to move. And you see with the tipper truck, when they are on a on a higher speed and they want to take a break or apply the brake, it will take them some long time. Sometime five minutes before the brakes can really be applied. Yeah, so this this man um, applied the brick when he saw that still I, 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 I wanted to go. M meanwhile, he was getting closer, this steeper track. And I'm giving this, this testimony, okay, uh, to motivate you watching. And this testimony gave birth to what you have been watching on this channel. This is my story. I realized that everybody living in this earth, a child of God, there are testimonies we need to share. There are things we need to tell people that will motivate them, that will make them know that God is still alive. So no matter your problems, no matter what you are going through, the Lord is with you. You see, there is this assurance from God's word in the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 that the God of Moses says that as I was with Moses, I will be with you. So God is always with us, no matter our problems, no matter our, our troubles, no matter our difficulties that we are going in. Now, sometimes you may think that all hope is lost, but hey, beloved, hope is not lost. Hope is not lost. With Jesus Christ, there's hope. And there's always light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, with Jesus Christ. There's always hope in this light. Yeah, so I was I was I was just I was just moving on. Uh moving. I was just moving. And then all that I heard was pow. The car I was driving collided with this tipper truck car. And then my wife was just be beside me. And then she said, Jesus. Uh, how how are you? Are you there? I said, yes, by God's grace, I am there. Okay. This depart truck driver gave a testimony that when he saw that my car still wanted to take that path and he was also at the high speed, he tried to swerve. And then my the, my, the car, the bonnet side at the front side, hit the tie part of um, the, the vehicle. And then, by God's grace, 
Um, though the car got damaged, the car got damaged, but by God's grace, um, we, our life were saved. Though we, our some of our items uh, got spoiled, but by God's grace, we were saved. Yeah. So I, I just uh, want you uh, to to know that God is still alive. If He save us from this accident, okay, He He will save you too from the problems you are going. Maybe it may be sickness. It may be financial problems, it may be marital problems, uh, it may be so many things that you are going through. Don't forget that God is still with you. God is still in the saving business. If he was able to save Paul, he is still in the saving business and he will save you. Yeah, so when, you, when, the, car, when the car got collided, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. And then, quickly, by God's will, we came out from the car, and then the car uh, was towed to the police station. Yeah, but there are lessons I have learned from uh, this car experience that whenever you are you are getting tired, don't drive. It is very very important. If you're a driver and then you feel that you are getting tired, maybe um, whether you're a long distance driver or short one, driving for the whole day, and you feel that you are tired, please. And um, please, it's better to pack and rest than to rest your life. That's a, a big lesson. And then the lesson I have also learned is that when God has a plan for you, when God has something in stock for you, no matter what it may come by the way, okay, He is He's able. He's always available to protect us, to guide us. If I was dead by that time. We wouldn't have been watching this testimony. Okay, if I was dead by that time, we wouldn't have been enjoying testimonies from several people on this uh, channel. We wouldn't have been watching and enjoying. Yeah, so I want to just motivate everyone watching me right now, wherever you are watching, wherever you are watching, take courage in God, have faith in God, that God will never, never leave you. God will never ever leave you. He's always with you. He's always with you. He will guide you. He will direct your path. And His promises are sure. You see, God's promises are always available in His Word. His, some of His promises, I will be with you. I will guide you. His angels will protect us from, from evil. God's promises are always fresh and intact and we need to claim it by faith yes we need to claim it by faith when we claim his promises by faith we are going to see his power manifesting in our lives we are going to see his wonderful hand in our lives yeah so as i said it was just a quick one yeah, to motivate you to to encourage you and let me let me let me state this before before I just uh, end this conversation. No matter what we go through in life, whether good or bad, it is God's way of preparing us for something better. Yeah, this this is my story. This channel came uh, up as a result of a disappointment. One of these days, I'm going to share that experience with you. How I was disappointed in life. How I thought all hope was lost. And then suddenly, God gave me hope. I will share with you one of these coming days. So make sure you share the, our videos, my videos. And then you subscribe and then you tell people about what we have been discussing on this channel. As I always tell you, on this channel, we discuss about marriage about sex education yeah, sex education especially uh, strictly for married people they are on the channel sex education you can uh, watch some of them and then we, sometimes we get songs inspirational songs on the channel and then anything that will uplift god to be put on the channel yeah marriage dating and all that so you can uh, tell a friend to tell a friend about this channel yeah that also for crazy channel uh, comes up with all these I know uh, kind of things that we give to our viewers but don't forget don't forget that, that god will never leave if god saved me from this accident 
he will save you. If I am still alive today, you see, sometimes Christians will give a testimony, I shall not die, but I will live to declare the goodness of God. God has saved you from a problem. You are still alive, but you are not telling what God has done for you. The you see, sometimes, I, I, have, I face also this experience, sometimes, you see, getting money to survive becomes a problem. And you have to go for loans and all that. But yes, still, God was able to be with me, sell me to, and now I am talking to you. I don't know what you are going through. God is always ever ready and near. And yeah, this, this song that I love so much, let me sing it to you. Days are filled with sorrow and care. Hearts are lonely and drained. Burdens are lee and a cavalry. Jesus is very near. Burdens are lee and a cavalry. 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 Bedding solid at that cavalry. Jesus is very near. Let me let me sing the part that is so much intriguing. Trouble soul, the Savior can see every headache and tear. Bed in salit at Kavari 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 Bed in salit at Kavari Jesus is very near. I just want, wanted to encourage you. Jesus is always with you. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Share. And then like. And then we meet again another time. As I said, I will share um, another experience. What God did for me. So that it will, I will keep on sharing. So that you can also take courage. From my experience. And your life, never, your life, your life will never be the same. When you give your life to Jesus. May the Lord be with you. May He shine His face upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen.